All right, everybody, how's it going? Roger says, hey. Scarlet says, hey. Was say hi? Yeah, I see how we go. There's Miss Scarlet. Oh my goodness, oh my goodness. Oh my goodness. Oh, is this sweet girl, Scarlet? Yes, yeah, she's a sweet girl. Okay, well, since the world seems to be on the eve of war, a lot of bad stuff happening right now, I wanted to watch something that might be a little bit more uplifting. Now, I had saved this video on YouTube like months ago and have been meaning to get to it. So, you know, I just saw it and I thought, you know, it might be fun to do this one today. Now, I think the only other time I've seen these guys is at the Festival of Remembrance. I do remember them performing during that. I'm not sure what this is. This could be part of the Festival of Remembrance from one of the other years. I don't know. Maybe you guys can let me know down in the comments what this is from. But I always love watching stuff like this. So looking forward to it. Let's check out what the Royal Marine Band has for us. the leopard skin what the heck <laughs> Es ist die Creme de la Creme, die wir hier auf dem Platz erleben dürfen. Aber nicht nur musikalisch ist die Band der Royal Marines top, sondern auch im Marschieren und im Sich-Formieren. Passend zum Stück Sailing von Rod Stewart bilden sie hier einen Anker. No idea what he just said. Oh, anchor. This is an anchor, okay. Must be a Navy song then. That's cool. Oh, they're outside. Die Formation, die wir hier auf dem Platz sehen, besteht aus zwei vollwertigen Militärbands. Und wie stark das tönen kann, das kommt beim nächsten Stück richtig schön zur Geltung. Der Titel, den sie spielen, heißt Invincible – Unbesiegbar. I feel like I've heard this before, but I'm not sure. Where'd the choir come from?
Rich, you've got some um, epic military music, that's for sure. I like it. They lift the six all the way up to their mouth, though. Insgesamt gibt es bei den Royal Marines 350 Musiker. Rund 80 davon sind hier in Basel dabei. Und alle, wurde uns versichert, sind sehr stolz darauf, bei dieser weltbekannten Gruppe musizieren zu dürfen. Die Trommler stehen unter der Leitung einer Frau, nämlich von Carrie Silk. Sie steht in der Mitte und hat oben an ihrer Trommel einen dickeren roten Reif. I like the design on their drums too. Jetzt kommt Lieutenant Colonel Nick Crace als Dirigent dazu. Er ist der oberste musikalische Leiter der gesamten Royal Marines. I think he said that she's a lieutenant or lieutenant, did you guys say? Auf seiner Brust ist vor zwei Monaten ein weiterer Orden dazugekommen. Er ist von Prinz Charles persönlich zum Officer of the British Empire ernannt worden. Let's be about Prince Charles. Germany? Is that why he's he's the German narrator? I've definitely heard this song somewhere before, probably in TV or films. Das war die Violinistin Alice Hudson. Zum Schluss ihres Auftritts spielt die Band der Royal Marines jetzt noch das Stück Rule Britannia. Für viele Briten so etwas wie die inoffizielle Nationalhymne.
Okay. All right, well, there we go. Ending on Rule Britannia. I did do a video on that song specifically last night of the proms a few months back. I apologize for the German narrator. If you guys speak German, you'll know what he's, he's saying, but I didn't know that that was going to be on here. I'm assuming they're probably performing in Germany, though. Anyway, that was a really cool performance. My favorite look of the whole thing was when they formed the uh, anchor and they kind of walked back and forth with the anchor. Reminded me a bit of like a football halftime show here. The bands tend to like form a lot of things like that, but I've never seen an anchor form before and uh, the blue light and stuff just kind of like reminded you of the sea. And it was like this really calming, almost like the anchor was just floating on a really calm seas or something like that. And then they follow that up with, I think my favorite, part of the whole thing, which is that big like epic number. So I was just looking at the song titles here. So A Life on the Ocean Wave was the name of the very first song that they played. Then they went into Sailing, which is the anchor. And then Invincible was the big like epic number that they did. And then they had the drum solo, the Sailor's Hornpipe, which was the one with the violin. Okay. I think I've heard of that name before. And then of course, Rural Britannia. So that was really awesome. If you guys know of any other like really epic performances from the Royal Marine Band, or if Britain has other other bands like this in the military that would be cool to check out, let me know. And if you enjoyed this video, make sure to hit like and subscribe if you haven't done that yet. Also check out the description and the pinned comment for links to all of my social media, my Patreon, where I do a lot of videos that I don't do here on YouTube, and my Star Trek podcast. There's a link there if you want to check that out. Anyway, Raja here and I, thank you guys for watching. Stay tuned for more coming up. We'll see you next time.